with you. Welcome to Dr. Lives. In this video, we'll study about the urinary bladder cancer. Let's begin with epidemiology. This is more common in males, the ratio being 3 to 1. Now, females, if diagnosed, will have a more advanced and severe form of the disease. This is the rule of the ratio. Agar kisi mein zada hota hai, to wo kam severity mein hoga. Kisi mein agar kam hota hai, to zada severity ka hoga. Okay. Let's move on to the risk factors of urinary bladder cancer. First is smoking. Now the smoke is full of aromatic amines and that can cause DNA damage. So aromatic amines will cause mutation and that will cause DNA damage leading to cancer. Then obviously cancer is always associated with some genetic history. Here the genes that are responsible are NAT2 and GST M1. Now, why these are responsible? Because they are responsible for the metabolism of aromatic amines. Third is occupation. Wherein you have the tobacco workers, the dye factory workers, the chimney workers. Why? Because the particles that come out from chimneys or dye factories, that will cause, you know, mutation in the DNA and that will lead to cancer. Then there are certain medical conditions. So, we are discussing urinary bladder. Ke so obviously bladder is related to urinary conditions, kuch medical conditions. So first is uro, neurogenic bladder. Yeah. Second, if there is a prolonged indwelling catheter. Third, if urinary bladder has some calculi, hai, long standing bladder calculi. Fourth, if there is recurrent urinary tract infections. Fifth, if there is a congenital bladder anomaly and six if there is schistosomiasis so bladder ca cancer hai is really bladder related conditions will lead to urinary bladder cancer next let's move on to the clinical features so if you watch the video of hematuria you would know that urinary bladder cancer is one of the causes of painless cross hematuria Second, there will be irritative and voiding symptoms. And third, if uh, there can be the features of bladder outlet obstruction, if the mass or the tuberous mass is at the neck of the bladder. Okay, what investigations you will do? Because the bladder related, hai, tum logo cystoscopy karna hoga, and that is the gold standard as well. Now, this is related to cancer. So, we have to study the nature of the cells. So, you will do the cytology test or you will do the urine cytology. Third, you have to do some urine based markers just we have local NMP 22 khojna padega and fourth as it is related to bladder related to urine you will do routine examination of urine microscopic examination of urine and culture sensitivity of urine now there are two types of urinary bladder one is the non-muzzle invasive bladder carcinoma and the second is the muzzle invasive bladder carcinoma non-muzzle invasive matlab Jo tumor hai, wo mucosal lining hai affected hai, muscle ko effect nahi kiya hai. So what will be the treatment of non-muscle invasive bladder carcinoma? You have to do a cystoscopy and then you do a TURB. TURB is transurethral resection of bladder tumors. And how much will you resect? You will resect around two margins of the tumor. After that, you will shave the base of the tumor to look if there is any invasion or not. This is the surgery. Just remember 2 cm around the margin of the tumor ko extract kar le hai, resect kar le hai. After that you have to go for chemotherapy in which you give intravesical mitomycin C or you can also give epidubin. Now this is to be given within 6 hours of cystoscopy. Now let's move on to muscle invasive bladder carcinoma. So here it is a more aggressive kind of tumor because of tumor mucosal lining ko involve karta hua muscle mein ja chuka hai. And in muscle invasive bladder carcinoma, you have to do a radical cystectomy. Matlab aapko urinary bladder ko remove karna padega. And if the tumor has invaded the other organs, you have to remove that also. So sometimes ileal conclusion can also, has also to be done. Matlab invading structures ko bhi remove karna hoga. One more thing. In case of non-muscle invasive bladder carcinoma, as a case of immunotherapy, you have to give the BCG vaccine and this has to be given 2 to 4 weeks after the transurethral resection of bladder tumors. I hope you find the video useful. If so, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. 
and share it with your families and friends so that they can also take the benefit of it. Thank you.